if we're going to get serious about doing more fab, we need to have a weld table. This is a version of um, a table that is offered by Weld Tables and Certiflat.com. Uh, those guys, their tables are awesome, but they're a little bit out of my price range. They want about three grand for a table this size. This one is my own design. I did all the CAD, just had it laser cut, and it was just dropped off here at the shop. It will be a 30 by 50 um, top, four inches tall, and it should stand about 40 inches high when the legs are on it. I'm gonna put some wheels on the bottom so we can roll it around the shop pretty easily. But I think this should upgrade and make our lives a little bit easier when we're doing some more fab work. So here are all our pieces once we got them off the pallet. On the far left, you can see the actual table top that has a couple slots in it for all the other things going on on the right. Just to the right of the tabletop, you see the sides. The sides have the same holes in them, so you're able to clamp on a 90 degree surface to the top. The next one over is some of the support slats for the bottom. You have the long two and the short, there's four of them. And then on the far right, you have the legs. Both of these legs um, are shaped like a 90 degree L and they will go straight up and down. And then it just in front of the two legs, you can see the plates on the floor. That's for the casters to be put on the bottom. So I had all of this laser cut by the same guy that does all of our brackets. And as you can see here, you have the tabs. These tabs will go into some slots, much like these, in the tabletop. And they drop right in, and then the next slat or support will slide right through here, and we can weld it all together. This makes a really quick install, and it makes it really strong. So we'll just start setting these into the slot. And these longer ones are going to go in the opposite way. These really long ones with the holes in it, these are your outsides. And the shorter ones with the holes, these are the ends. You can see they have a slot here and here, and that's gonna link in with these two. There you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put clamps all over this and make sure that it's all pulled right together nice and tight. And we're gonna start pressing them together from the top down like this. And that's gonna make sure that our top is nice and flat and everything here is square. So as you can see, we have it roughly assembled right now. I have a red ratchet strap you can see right here going all the way around and I ratchet that in to pull the four sides in closer together. And then I have clamps running in each direction. I'm gonna put two more clamps right here and right here to pull the middle of it in, but that's pretty much all you have to do. Put a ratchet strap on, pull it around, couple clamps around it, and you're done. You can see that the clamps that I have right here and right here that run the full length, they weren't long enough. So what I did was I used them to jump over to a smaller clamp. Here's a red one, and here's a little silver one. And that just gives me the total length that I needed to be able to clamp in and make sure that those are butt up nice and tight against the laser cut.
Just getting our legs put on the table here, and you can see, I got a nice little helper, let me get out of the way, but a uh, couple bolts go in, and they just slot together just like the rest of them, so. So once you get a tack on there, you want to throw a, a square on it. Just make sure that it's pretty square because you're going to be putting a caster on and you want it to sit pretty nice. I'd buy it. So there you go, that's all I'm going to weld on these. There's three tabs, I'm just going to weld those. There's nowhere for it to go. It gets bolted on in the corner. A couple tacks down here and your caster will be on. It can't go anywhere, there's no real point of putting a whole bunch more on it. So guys, that's our build on our new welding table. If you're interested in getting one, I'll put uh, our links in the description below. You can either buy it from us, or I can send you the CAD and you can get it cut at any local supply that you have to you. This thing again is a 30 by 50. Nice and level, it's nice and flat. You can see no matter where I want to put this. So it gives you a really good work surface to work on. We're going to go ahead and make some nice little clamps um, to go ahead and they drop in the hole so you can clamp whatever you need wherever. And we'll show you how to use it a little bit more efficiently in a couple videos to come. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications if you want to keep up on what we're doing next. So you can see that we have our welding table done now. I went ahead and put a couple accessories on it. I made these grinder racks. Um, if you're like me, I have grinders set up for everything. A couple flap wheels here, a couple of hard grinding discs, cutoff wheels. So I don't have to keep switching wheels all the time. I just switch what grinder I'm using. So these racks uh, have five grinders. I have a three grinder and a one grinder set up as well if you don't have as many as I do. And then up here, we have these hooks. This one, I just have all the cords um, so I can run the table around. I have another five grinder rack here, a couple tape measures and a square sitting in here. And then another hanger on this side. Just have my earmuffs or you know my welding helmet or something like that on. So if you're interested in any of these little accessories, make sure you hit the notification button and subscribe button and we'll keep you updated with what we're doing. There'll be a lot more accessories to come for this table.